Hey guys, still here. Welcome back to more Wargame Red Dragon Ranked. Today, a bit of a bonus video, because it's such a short one. Um, I was playing as Surviving Ranked Major, and I'm playing Eurocore Motorized Deck. My favorite deck at the moment. I am operating mostly in Foxtrot. Left flank is going to be heavily defended. Well, well heavily defended. It's going to be defended. <laughs> Let's just call it that. It's going to be defended. I'm playing against First Lieutenant Ralph over here. I'm going to be moving up with my Panthers, trying to drop off HGMs early, uh, but mostly getting the Panther for the fantastic rocket pods that it carries. Crotal moving into position, Amex 10 RC is trying to support against impending doom of motorized and potentially mechanized rush of Foxtrot, as my Legionnaires and Commander Para move to take the building. In the middle, a couple of Chasseurs going over to defend the forest, uh, putting a 10 RC over there. That's a favorite position of mine as well, the one where you see the spawning AMX 10 RC. This is just such a nice position. Now, we encounter some Israeli helicopters, Saifan and Sefa E. So that's pretty bad news for my HGMs and my Panthers. Fortunately, I have a Krotal. I have two AMX 10 RCs and a 1390s. So, yeah, the Sefa cannot do that much. Or from the left, more Sefa. This guy, definitely an Israeli fanatic, uh, dropping off Shia Tet with the Nimrod that you can see hovering on the far left. Uh, and immediately I deploy some more anti-air. Now, Saifan needs to go first, because it's his optics. So there goes the Saifan, then the Krotal, and the Krotal dies. Ten RCs were a bit short on the draw, and I maneuvered my own infantry into the forest, because I thought that at this point he would have the buildings. So I decided to take a bit of a backseat approach there. And considering I'm already plus ticking, or ticking a plus two, I don't have to be terribly aggressive. Plus, I want to defend my left flank a little better. Seeing as he seemingly invested a few units there. Although, in retrospect, it is most likely just a Shayatet, escorted by Tsefa E. Over here, the Givati. I'm trying to invite them to jump forward, and they do. And the Givati come under attack from the Commando Para, as well as the 10 RCs. But I forget about the 1390s, sadly. They are still far behind and cannot shoot in support. Considering what I'm calling in here, I uh, called in a Krotal, but it's supposed to be a VAB VDAA for base defense. A couple Commander Para is starting to die, and so are my 10 RCs. And the Dorban LR is going to take out the Krotal next. Bad management on my part. That's not really the main point of this video. We will be getting to that shortly. Now, over in the middle, there's not too much happening, considering that he invested some in helicopters. Uh, Shia Tet, also expensive. Nimrod, very expensive. I think we're dealing with some infantry over here. I'm still grinding into it with the VAB in support. The Legionnaire that made it to the forest are going to wipe out all the vehicles. And as you can see, it's basically just a Gavati, a Barkan, and a Dorban LR. There's not much more that I'm fighting. And in retrospect, what I should have done is take out the Barkan and bring up a couple of Panthers to just push in, especially since his Tsefa E on that side is dead. On the left, I'm not pushing. I have my Commando Para for spawning. I have Legionnaires in case they push, but they are pretty heavily wounded. Tenor C moving a bit further up. Commando Para and Foxtrot have died, sadly. So be it. Time to call on the Caesar. Uh, I call on the Vab. Time to call on a Caesar. I want to do a bit of shelling on their position before I rush in more infantry. And the Amex 10 RC is suppressing enemy units as they try to move into my sector more. Finding a good position here for the Legionnaire to do some ambush positions. 1390s, slowly moving up, but I don't want them to get uh, Dorbund, if that's a phrase. I should not have taken that shot with the 10 RC, because that Yasur Nimrod that dropped off, apparently Shia Tet, either on the left or on the far right, is still out there. And fortunately, I already have a VDAA on the front line, but it's going to take him a bit of time to take this guy down. Now, Caesar on the position, shooting into the uh, position that he has in Foxtrot, so I can start to bring more infantry there, as the enemy infantry will be either dead, dying, or panicked. Trying to get the kill on the Yasur, because that is a pretty important target. I mean, I'm not a mechanized or armored deck, but those missiles hit hard, and it is a really expensive bird. So if I can take that down, then yes, please. He's reinforcing the middle. I don't think he had anything there to begin with, so I should have just taken the buildings. But I'm always a bit too cautious over there. Flap 2013s have arrived with more Legionnaires, and the Caesar has already been doing some shelling, so hopefully there's not too much left there. Nevertheless, um, I'm still considering where I want to be fighting. 
Let's put a tenor C over there in the middle in Delta, making sure that I get a bit more optics as well as early shots on the enemy. Another Humvee moving away. Sorry, they call it Hamer. Another Hameric moving away. Legionnaires through the forest, prepping their assault on Foxtrot. Also bringing in a mortar to prep the assault further by getting the support from smoke screen, at least if I need it. And now the Legionnaire is ambushing targets, or at least trying to. But Ralph responds quickly. And Ralph responds with hitting my guys with the infantry that dropped off from the vehicles very quickly. Rova 90. Not necessarily um, a problem for my Legionnaire, but there are a lot of them. And they're just getting overwhelmed. So these guys go down. Legionnaire is moving forward. Uh, you can see he's definitely reinforcing into Fox. I think he's just slowly reinforcing everywhere at this point. So, time to get some Panthers over. Um, time to get some more fire support over. Prep the offensive. And get ready to start shooting with the 1390s in the fire support. At this point, I have been sneaking a VAP 2013 over on the far right flank. This guy is uh, very merrily making his way through the forest as the VAPs are in the middle. Working with the Chasseur to take out the guys down there. And that... It's more Chayotet. You can also see Tsananim making it into the building. So we now have potentially Tsananim, uh, potentially Rovait, or well, most likely Rovait, potentially uh, the Barkan, and potentially the Dorban LR. I'm not sure if I got those with the Caesar yet. The Chayotet take out both my transports, and I have to retreat with the Chasseur because they are getting murdered by the Chayotet, and there's not much I can do. I'm still at a plus two, because he still has not captured Alpha. Uh, I am floating a lot of points, this is definitely not my best game. Floating a lot of points, I should have already retaken Foxtrot at this stage. I should never have allowed them to reinforce it that much. My VAB VDAA got detected by the Maglan over there. There's also a tank coming in that I really don't want there. So I'm trying to get a peace ride to take it down. Gazelle Cannon, however, loses line of sight. And this is at an unfortunate time, because it means that the Peace Rhine can't actually shoot anything. Now, the Peace Rhine does fly around, and was doubling, kind of, as an opportunity to see what sort of anti-air he has. I believe he does not have anything. But, maybe. Maybe I'm wrong. Maglan over there, of course I cannot really shoot them except for a gun run, so eventually the Peace Rhine ends up going for a missile attack on the BTR-152, and... Proceeds to fuck that up. <laughs> it's not a great peace rhyme. Not yet. Now, um, that's going well. The peace rhyme did survive. They did take some fire from the Tsefa E. And you can see him bringing in more units as well as starting to put CVs into position. He seems to be confident about his position, so he's going to try and consolidate it. Now, I'm smoking up some of the buildings there to make sure that the 1390s can shoot at the guys in the front building but that the guys uh, are still under some cover of smoke as they move up. Tsefa E moving up, Hamer moving up, and my Panther is being brought into position to get rocket pods onto the targets as I see them in Foxtrot. This HEGM, by the way, is very poorly dropped off, but I wanted to get the infantry out anyway. Now, let's see what this guy has. Um, I know there is a bit of highway going from Charlie slash his spawn to Foxtrot, but if I cross it quickly, I might make it out. More shelling, relocating the Caesar after attacks, smoke screens coming up. You can see that the guys are doing exactly what I want them to do, which is putting one Tsan Hanim forward so that the 1390s can engage, but I don't smoke enough, leading to the destruction of one of my 1390s. Mortar smokes again, there's a Rovait and a Hamer there. Uh, the guys come back, the Tsan Hanim. They are starting to lose more and more guys, as they also come under attack from the VAP 2013s there. But the 13s are, I should have done more. Um, in Charlie, I encounter no resistance. I'm trying to play a little zoomed out as I'm moving towards his base. There is a Baz circling, I think maybe in response to the Peace Rhine. I'm not sure what else it would be. And seeing as I'm not actually seeing anything, um, I'm just going to continue right onto his fob. Because he may... yeah, he might have a CV there. Look at that. He might have a CV there. Uh, this is post commentary, by the way. Not live commentary. Immediately I engage with the Caesar. Um, that is a far greater priority than the guys over in Foxtrot. And this is where the guy loses the CV to one simple 2013. Although the BTR 152 does manage to stun it because I race right in. He gets a little salty. 
What a noob. Well, I think that's what it says. Um, but what I don't get is why am I the noob? I mean, his base, his lack of base defense, my kill. So, easy, right? In the meanwhile, there's still some more fighting happening over here and I lost everything in Foxtrot. Uh, he says, fuck you. I says, I, I says, I say, no, thank you. I'm married. Uh, I'm not interested in fucking this guy. But I'm not sure what happened to him. Because he, oh, by the way, th this is comedy gold. Watch this. I get the VAP 2013 away from his base and I turn off the fob. This is one of those nasty little tricks that happened to me at some point in Ranked and I now also do it. Because automatically people resupply at their base if they can. But they can't always do that if their fob is turned off and they don't notice. Watch what this guy is doing. Um, he is going to be attacking his own fob. I think he has attack base turned on or attack logistics. And he just engages his own fob and kills it. I don't get it. Now, at this point, my 2013 is still alive. He could have very easily recaptured his own fob, his own base, and everything else. Uh, I'm trying to flank with some more units and exploring stuff more on the left there. Preparing an offensive into Bravo, because I know he invested a lot into Fox. Preparing to drop off a uh, reconnaissance unit from a pirate there. And Ralph says, you want the win. Well, yeah, it's ranked. I mean, this is what we're trying to play, right? We're trying to play for the win? Or am I alone in that? I don't know. I think he gets extremely, extremely salty. So, he is ticking a plus one. I have a substantial lead. I have a CV coming in. I'm going to neutralize his tick. Uh, he might counter cap me in Fox, but he just gives up. I don't know. He just gives up. Uh, he killed more stuff than I did. He was ahead, but not by points. I don't get it. This guy, very salty. Pretty poor player. And definitely a sore loser.